I've had three plays produced here now. I started off my career here. Um, I did the Young Writers Program, and then from then on, I was part of the Young Writers Festival in 2007. I've got two plays that have made a big impression on me, um, but the first one I would have to say is Random and by Debbie Tucker Green. And that was because she had written that play at a time where the subject matter was very, very important. And um, I just remember being so affected by it, leaving the theater. And I don't think I've ever been so affected by a piece of play um, by a play before and um, I remember leaving the theatre being really upset, being really sad but also feeling moved that someone had told that story um, and it stayed with me for a very long time. And then the second one was um, Roy Williams' play, um, Sucker Punch. Um, and for many reasons why, I, I like Sucker Punch for many reasons. First, because they transformed the Royal Court. <laughs> it was an amazing experience to see the downstairs theatre completely transformed. And um, yeah, and just to see actors who I love um, just kind of, you know, just go for it and really, really go for, you know, and, and just... It worked so well. I think the directing worked so well. The the acting was amazing, and the writing obviously was amazing too. And those are two plays that actually Roy's play was the play that I think I saw five times. I came back five times to see that play, bringing different people. The Royal Court has mattered for sixty years because it's a new writing theatre. Um, they're always bringing in new writers, um, and I think that because it's, it's a new work theatre as well, a, a, a play a place where you know, you get to see new work. And I don't think that many theatres exist in that type of way. And people are afraid to put new writers on stage and give them a voice and a platform. And I think that the Royal Court does that brilliantly. And um, yeah, the work that's been going on here for 60 years, it stands the test of time, you know. It wouldn't be here if it didn't do a good job. Now that I'm not a new writer anymore, <laughs> I would also like the opportunity to keep coming back to the Royal Court and having, you know, I'm a writer. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, so I think that it's really important to, to put on new work. The plays you see on at the Royal Court talk about the times in which we live. And I think that that's really important that you come here and you're very, very much aware about what's going on in the world around you by the plays that you see here. And I think that that is something that's really important. People are afraid to talk about now and to express that through art because it means that you have a political voice or that you have a particular point of view. But I think that it's so important to do that. And it's, yeah. And I think the Royal Court does that. You come and see a play here and you know what's going on in the world. And I think that that's very, very important. The thing that stands out the most for me, my most vivid memory of the Royal Court is just how loud we were as a cast were gone too far. I think that nobody expected us to be that loud. And um, it was really funny because we were all so new. Everyone that was that was a part of Gone Too Far was so new to this. And so we were here in a theater and, and my most actually vivid memory is being in this rehearsal space, um, sorry, in this dressing room with the boys and they were playing gigs, <laughs> which is loud rap music. And then, and dancing around here just before the shows. And, um, and have um, the seagull, at the time the seagull was on, so the cast members from the seagull coming and knocking on the door going, and we thought they were gonna tell us off and they were just like, hi guys, you guys are having so much fun. And we were like, look at all these people who've been doing this for ages and like they come in and they came and joined in and that was, that was really, really great because they welcomed us and it, working with the cast have gone too far, I don't think I've had much of an experience like that before where it was just like, we thought, you know, it was just the family and, and we had so much fun every day just being here. And it was hot as well, so mm. that was great too. If the Royal Court didn't exist, there'd be no gone too far on the stage. Um, well, I mean, there might have been gone too far. It might have happened, but it wouldn't have happened at the time that it happened. And I just wouldn't, I don't know. I don't know if I'd have been a writer. I'm not too sure. I think that I owe a lot to the Royal Court in terms of my career, in terms of having a start, in terms of being in this industry. And I'd, I think that if that play wasn't put on, I don't know if I'd be sitting here right now. So, yeah.